Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, three techniques, three um, effects or filters that you can use in DaVinci Resolve to give yourself a little bit more dramatic effect for your next project. Recently I was tasked to create a Mother's Day video for the organization that I work for. They said they wanted it to be just a little bit more dramatic this year. And uh, so I came up with some letterboxing, some tilt shift blur effect, and some vignetting. And I think that uh, it has has, uh, turned out not too bad and I uh, thought I'd share some of the techniques with you in DaVinci Resolve. Let's just take a little look at the project that uh, we've been working on. This Mother's Day, ADRA honors mothers from around the world who are standing strong in the face of disaster. You have experienced drought, famine, earthquakes, floods, Typhoons. So you get the idea of what we're headed for. I've copied the project over to another line so we can start from scratch and see what we've been working on here. First of all, to get the letterboxing or the black bars, as some people call it, it's real easy in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, just go over to your effects palette. If it's not open, just go up to the top here, open up effects, and you want to go to toolbox and then effects and just start typing in adjustment layer and it should show up there adjustment clip it's called and just drag that onto the next layer and uh, you can see that nothing yet has this really happened day. we need to actually go ahead and make an adjustment let's select the adjustment clip and then go over to our inspector tool and go down to cropping and let's add a, a crop to the top and the bottom I think uh, you know, this is up to your taste as to how much, how how cinematic or dramatic you want to make it. I find that uh, like 197 is, is a good uh, crop. And we'll do that to the top and bottom, 197. And then we can just slide that adjustment clip all the way along. And now we've got our black bars all the way along. Letterboxing, uh, uh, as some call it. Okay, but as we look at the clips, we see that... Uh, because they've been coming in from all over the place, a lot of stock footage here, a lot of them have been framed in a way that doesn't work with the adjustment layer that we've just added. So we need to go in and start making adjustments to some of these individual clips to make it work with the letterboxing that we've just done. So start selecting your clips and then go up to the video tab in your inspector palette and start making adjustments. We can bring it down so that it fits within the black bars. And because this clip is so dark and I don't necessarily want her front and center, I'll actually also bring it on over as well. And that way it's going to dissolve onto the next clip a lot better. This one needs some adjustment as well. Let's bring it down. And because we're going to be adding some vignetting in the end, I know that I can position her over here as well and not worry about the black that's showing up on the left here because it'll we'll take care of that in the vignetting. And now we've got a much better dissolve between these two clips. And then we can just keep working on that to give us a better composition for each shot. This one's not too bad, just right out of the box. I think we'll be okay on that one. Uh, what else have we got here? This one might need a little adjustment. All right. Uh, in this one, I don't think that I want to see the little bit of ocean or trees there, so we're going to bring her down a bit. And we might want to just uh, zoom up on her a little bit. There, that works. And, okay, I think the next few are fine. I think we can uh, now move on to some of the other effects that I've been working with. The one is vignetting, and where you find the vignetting is over in Open Effects. And just start typing in vignette, and it shows up here. And let's just drag and drop that onto our clip here. What I usually like to do is then go over to the inspector palette, switch over to effects, and uh, I usually change this from basic to advanced. That gives me a little bit more options and control over the size, the way it works, the transparency. Basically, we just want to kind of bring our attention, our focus right into the person, the people in the shot. And there's lots of adjustments over here that you can experiment with to give you the look that you're going for. And uh, 
who are standing. We just need to drop that onto most of the clips in our project and make the adjustments as needed. Let's just do one more for our demonstration purposes here and change that to advanced again, make our adjustments. And that's starting to look good. Now the last effect that we're going to work with uh, today for this project is called the tilt shift blur effect. So you can just start typing in, it's in open effects there and it shows up and let's just drop that onto our clip here and you see it starts to add some blur. Now we want to be a little bit more selective than just dropping it on as to where the blur occurs. So again, we're going to go up to our inspector palette, make sure that you're on effects. And what we're going to do now is start adjusting where that blur is going to show up. Basically what this is doing is giving you the look and feel as though you're working with a very expensive lens on your camera, but you're doing it in post. The tilt shift lenses are very expensive. And uh, by putting on this filter every once in a while, you can add a nice cinematic uh, feel to it. And you can be very intentional after the fact as to where the blur is going to be by making your adjustments here. The blur strength, for example, can add more blur. You can decide where that's going to be. You can make changes over time as to what part of the video is going to be affected. Let's just do one or two more here. And now we're getting a nice blur uh, uh, in and around the subjects walking through the desert there. And let's just make a few adjustments to this. Add some strength to that blur, I think. And make sure that the people in the shot are highlighted and in focus. We have experienced drought, famine. All right, so you get the idea of how just adding a few effects to your project can really add a lot of drama and cinematic feel to it. I'll show you another approach that you can use that might give you a little bit more uh, control over individual clips and how much blur that they might have or how you can affect uh, them individually or independently. So let's go back uh, to the original and show you what I did here. You'll notice that there is no adjustment clip on video two. I made the adjustments to the clips themselves. If we click on any one of these, we see if we go over to our crop tool, we'll see even though we didn't use the adjustment clip, we still have cropped this one to the same uh, clip ratio of 197, which gives us our uh, bars or letterboxing. Now, you're probably saying, well, if I use this method, am I going to have to make that crop adjustment for every clip in my project? No, once you've made this adjustment to one clip, you can uh, just hit Command C to copy that clip and then just select all of the other clips that you want to affect with the same adjustment. Hit the Option V key and it brings up our Paste Attributes. Not Paste Clip, Paste Attributes. So the attributes that we copied from that clip, we can now paste to a whole range of clips. And what we basically want to do is just hit the Crop area here. We're not going to make any adjustments to any of the other attributes. We'll just hit Apply. And now, as we go down the line, we see that that attribute has been copied to all of the clips along the line. We've given that crop to all of them. Now, one thing you should know about using this method is that uh, if you use this approach, there's a little button here under cropping that you have to tick in order to make adjustments to your clip to put them in the composition that you want. For example, with this unticked, if I go to um, bring her into frame here, what's going to happen is I'm going to be moving the whole video down, not the individual clip into the range of the adjustment layer. And uh, so what you need to do is go back to cropping, tick the little box there, retain image position. And now when we go to adjust the actual video clip itself, it's going to go up and down, not the whole uh, box. And so we can fine tune adjustment here and that works for enlarging and uh, positioning over 
if you have that box ticked, then you're going to be able to affect the actual video itself. So there's a couple of methods of, uh, of what you can do by doing it this way. I just have a little bit more control over each individual one if I want to make an adjustment using the tilt shift blur as to how much blur is going to be on the top and bottom. Well, my tilt shift is actually going to uh, affect the border itself. So it gives you just a little bit more control as to how each individual one is going to look. And that's our video for today. If you uh, found it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more tips on DaVinci Resolve as well as other media skills. So long for today. <laughs>